So the, 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 the barricades are, are going in. We can, we can see them now. So this, this isn't a part of the museum that you, that you like to show off. Uh, no, this is entirely where we're doing our construction right now, and we can't go in without complete PPE and steel toe shoes. No one can see what's behind this gate, except for us. Yeah. <laughs> On the National Mall here in D.C. at one of the coolest spots in town, this is the National Air and Space Museum. We're here with Dr. Margaret Weidekamp. Thank you for having us here. And Delighted. we're here because you guys are going to be going through a massive renovation. We're here yes. in this space hall. Some of these things are going to stay. Some of them are going to go. What, what are you going to be doing? So we are really re-envisioning the entire museum, uh, transforming the building itself and revitalizing all the galleries. The museum opened in 1976. Yeah. Is this the biggest project in the 45 year history of the museum? For downtown, definitely. And you're really gonna see a visual change, more diverse content about the people who made all of this stuff happen. We're here in the time and navigation gallery now. How, yes. how much is this space going to change? So this is going to be something that people are going to want to come see before we close at the end of March because this is all going to go away. Um, and we've really been thinking in new ways about new kinds of thematic exhibits that we can do in the new space. Do you get just really amped about a project like this where you, you, you're going to get to bring in a whole bunch of new exhibits and, and showcase a whole bunch of new things? It is, and it's a wonderful process of working with colleagues to really think about what are the many different kinds of stories that we would want to tell and then the really frankly painful process of trying to edit that down to what we can fit in a 5,000 square foot space. So no one has seen this side of the museum for a couple of years. No, this has been entirely a construction zone. This is the reason that we started this whole project was really to revitalize the whole building and then to transform our galleries. And so these are galleries that will not be open to the public until the end of this calendar year 2022. I mean, just looking at this particular uh, hall of exhibits to begin with, some of these massive things have to be moved and some of them will stay, right? Some of them will be a protect in place. We'll just leave them in place and uh, we'll sometimes even build a bit of a little room around them that protects them and allows us to do construction in the rest of the space. But a lot of these can be disassembled and will be brought out and we have a crack team of collections folks who know exactly how to handle these things, um, put them on trucks and take them to where they'll be safely stored. The purpose of this renovation really is to create the best environment that we can for these historic objects. There's new stuff that we want to be able to tell people about, objects, people, things like that. And so this is our chance to bring some of that fresh content. Dr. Weidekamp, I know that we're closed today, so thank yes. you for walking us through and taking oh, us delighted. through everything. And uh, we hope everything goes great and look forward to seeing you back here in the fall. Thank you. Oh, I love wetting our appetite, but sadly, we won't be able to see that stuff to the fall. Yeah, no, we got one more week where you okay. can see the exhibits as they stand now. So the last day you'll actually be able to go in there is this Sunday, the 27th. And then, yeah, everything's going to be closed for six months. I mean, it's just one of these iconic locations. I mean, one of the first museums in D.C. that I ever visited, hopping on the yellow school bus from Stafford County, mm. coming up and checking it out. My dad is a pilot, now retired, so we came up with him nice. and, and, would, and would go through there. And was super cool to be there when it was closed too. Just this massive space you're there with all the rockets and things going on. Just tremendous. Now some of the new things that they're going to have mm -hmm. open. They've got eight big new exhibits coming uh, to the new space. I've got all of them laid out on an article that I wrote on WSA9.com. One of them is a uh, Destination Moon exhibit. So they're going to have Neil Armstrong's space suit. They're going to have the command module from Apollo 11. Now do keep in mind, while all this is going on, if you haven't seen the Air and Space Museum Annex out at Uvar Hazy, which is the Dulles Airport, the Chantilly spot there. They've got Shuttle Discovery. They've got the SR-71 Blackbird. They've got all sorts of helicopters. It is free. Unfortunately, there's a $15 fee to park. But oh. if any, anyone who's been around here for a while who has not seen that exhibit of the yeah. Air and Space Museum, it is totally worth going to check it they out. They try and get you a parking. What, they think they're Dan Snyder? Is that, is, that, is that what it is? I don't think we're going full Dan Snyder yeah. there, but no, no, no. I'll find my way around that. Very cool, yeah. uh, very good suggestion. How often does the Air and Space Museum 
actually change and renovate? Like, how much does it change? Well, they, I mean, they cycle sort of exhibits in and out, smaller exhibits. Obviously, the bigger things are going to be around for some time. But this is the biggest change in the 45-year history. Basically, they're going through and they're doing a lot of the boring stuff, which is the HVAC and, like, updating walls and things like that. They're like, while we're ripping all of this stuff out, we might as well just reimagine the space, update it, bring in some more of the personalities. One of the things that the curator, uh, Dr. Whitecat, mentioned to me, too, is about how hard it is to edit down. Mm -hmm. You have all this stuff. It's like telling a story. Mm -hmm. You've got all this stuff that you want to include, but there's only so much you can include. So how do you do that? That's one of the biggest challenges they face. But when they reopen uh, in fall, it's going to be awesome. And then the entire renovation isn't going to wrap up until 2025. Wow. Yeah. That is that is a very awesome. I yeah. especially look forward to seeing what they include from Pete Davidson going up with Elon Musk. That should be awesome. That could be one of the things that gets edited out, but <laughs> who knows? Listen, where do we get this story? Not from a tip. I came up with this one. I said we got to get out Boom. to air and space before they close down. Listen, if you've got a tip, reach out to me on social media or email me, alongo, wsa9.com.